I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I cannot be defeated and I will not quit. Welcome to Rama Praise, a worldwide broadcast bringing hope, help, and healing for over 20 years from Kenneth Hagin Ministries and Rama Bible Church in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And now, here are your hosts, Pastors Kenneth and Lynette Hagin. Hello and welcome to Rhema Praise. We're glad you're with us today. You know, this weekend we celebrate the 4th of July. That's right. And honey, so many times people forget in the celebration with their family what really this celebration should be about. Oh yeah, it's about, it's about the freedom of our, of our nation. And you know, we've got a, a message I call Celebrating Our Freedom. And actually, I did this message on liberty and freedom uh, three years ago. Yes. And so much has changed. Actually, you can see that on the video because... It, so it much has changed even here. <laughs> ...in the church because we've redone inside. Uh -huh. yes. But so much has changed in our nation since then. Yes. But that does not mean that we forget God and what He's done for us. He's still God and always will be God. You know, we need to never forget yes. that America is a place that was founded upon godly principles yes. and values. And even though our, uh, even though our freedoms to live, you know, and worship God yes. seem to be trying to be taken away from us, but we need to realize that we need to continually lift this nation up. That's right. And we sometimes tend to forget about those who fought. Yes. And that are continuing to fight. And those who lost their lives. And gave their, fought, lives gave their lives. So that we can have the liberty. Yes. To serve God and to live our lives as we so choose. We need to remember that true freedom is both spiritually and naturally. Yes. And so let's go right now where I'm talking about celebrating our freedom. The American flag, it is not a symbol of perfection. No flag can be. Rather, the American flag is a symbol of freedom. Freedom to worship God as we please. Freedom to enjoy life without dictatorship and being told what to do. Yes, it's been an imperfect journey and it's been flawed and it's still flawed. And this country is still inadequate in many, many areas of our society. But we still must stand together and unite under God. Because without God, there is no justice. Without God, there is no freedom. Without God, there's nothing. On this week that we celebrate independence and especially on Wednesday the 4th, let us thank God for our nation. As we gather together with family and friends, and maybe sing and hear, some, hear patriotic songs and have some barbecue and all the food with family and friends, let us not forget what that freedom has cost. Amen. You know, we have to realize that both spiritual actions and natural actions are necessary to maintain our freedom. Spiritually, we need to be concerned about God's blessing upon our nation. Psalms 33, 12 says... Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. The voice translation. The nation whose true God is the eternal is truly blessed. Fortunate are those, are, fortunate are all, the, are all whom he chooses to inherit his legacy. Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is the nation whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen as his inheritance. 
our nation with all of its wealth and with all of our freedoms is because we've been blessed by God. You know, without God's blessing, there will be no freedom. There will be no wealth. I don't know what they teach in history now, but when I was in school, they taught that when the people first came here, they came in search of religious freedom. And we can clearly see that God's hand has been upon this nation to a day, though it seems like we're in a spiritual crisis. You know, many have laid down the God-given right to call upon God and ask for his blessing in the nation. They've taken God about, out, of, out of about everything that they can. They've taken uh, the commandments off of uh, buildings. They've refused to have nativity scenes. But I want you to realize as a church, we must seriously pray and get on our knees because the nation that loses God is the nation that loses freedom. Our freedom depends upon the prayers of the church. As we celebrate our independence, one thing that should be our, our big concern is keeping our freedoms intact. This day, we need to recognize that our founding fathers dared to proclaim liberty. We must remember to honor all of those that have sacrificed their lives to establish freedom. Thomas Campbell said this, the patriot's blood is the seed of the freedom, freedom tree. You know, as we look around, it's obvious that the founding of this nation was to worship God to be a place of religious freedom, to be a sending place, and it has been. America has sent more missionaries around the world than any other nation. But we, re we need to realize that without God, it doesn't happen. God needs a people that will walk in righteousness so that he can freely move on our nation's behalf. You know, in Proverbs 14, 34, it says, righteousness exalt a, exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. I would say this, righteousness is a nation's greatest treasure. Oh yes, we need military might. Yes, we need strong economy. Yes, we need to develop our resources and our infrastructure. Yes, we need education. Yes, we need technology. But greatest of all, we need righteousness. The righteousness of God. Right living will determine a nation's destiny. As you study the history of Israel, you can see this. When they were right with God, everything was great. When they sinned against God, everything became captivity instead of freedom. Not living righteously is not recognizing the one true God. Not recognizing God has been the downfall of many nations. The Babylonian Empire, if you want to study, I, I like history and I've studied a lot of history. The Medo-Persian and then the Great Empire, the Roman Empire, they all fell because of unrighteousness and sin. If we would consider reading the first chapter of Romans and the decline of that civilization Paul describes there, they refused to glorify God. They chose idolatry over true worship of God. They practiced every form of immorality. 
They became violent, deceitful, and proud. And history has proven that when that happened in those nations, they all failed. Today, let us determine in our own lives to live righteously under God. You know, freedom for mankind actually is a Bible concept. It, can, it comes from the Bible. The concept of liberty and freedom is seen all the way throughout the scriptures. Adam and Eve longed for freedom from sin because they had disobeyed God's command. Israel longed to be free from their captivity in Egypt. Moses came proclaiming liberty and told Pharaoh, let, God said, let my people go. Gideon, Ray was raised up to deliver Israel. David fought bravely against the Philistines to keep them from capturing Israel. While the people of Israel were in captivity in Babylonia, they longed for their homeland. During the days of Jesus, the Jews longed to be free from the Roman tyranny. Jesus himself proclaimed at the beginning of his ministry in Luke 18, 19, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Christ came to set us free from the rule of Satan and his tyranny. The apostle Paul instructed us in Galatians 5, 1, stand fast therefore in the liberty which Christ has made us free and do not be entangled again unto the yoke of bondage. And then drop on down to verse 13 in that same chapter. For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Freedom is something that God proclaims for every individual. However, freedom does not mean the absence of any rules or laws, some people would say. Real, me, real freedom means that certain, certain laws and rules are put into effect to provide the greatest possibility of liberty for everybody. Real freedom all, always has its restraints and boundaries. In the earth, we have freedom to move, yet we are bound by the law of gravity. If we didn't have the law of gravity, those, shoot, those pews would be floating. All my, my, no, I would have to hold on to my notebook because it'd be floating away, and I'd be floating all around. Hello. You know, you have the laws of gravity and physics to restrict things from happening. We have the law of God that restricts us from some things, but it leads us to true spiritual liberty and freedom. Real freedom does not destroy and take away, but it gives. Now, real freedom doesn't give you the right to intrude on somebody else and their rights. You know, any freedom is for us to enjoy under God. My freedom cannot encroach on your freedoms. Your freedom cannot encroach on my freedom. And if we learn to read the word of God, we find out that this happens as individuals love God, they work together in love. The one thing I like about this church so much is that we're all under God and we all serve one another and it don't make no difference 
what your background is, how rich you are, how poor you are, what your color is, it don't make no difference. We're all the same and we have the same freedoms because Jesus Christ died on the cross at Calvary to give us the freedom to live and worship together without prejudice. Hallelujah. You know, Christ said that he came to set men free. He came and went to the cross and there is, therefore the redemptive act of God was fulfilled. And he said in, in, in John 8, 36, therefore if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Now let me say this, there is a price to pray for freedom. Our freedom has cost us something. And I have several that I can see that are sitting in the congregation that can go back and remember World War II with me. It cost us something, but we're free to be in this church today. If it hadn't have been for the fact that we were willing to fight for our freedoms, we wouldn't be able to sit here in freedom today. You know, Christ paid the price for freedom when he died on the cross and he shed his blood. Before that, they had to sacrifice an animal every year for the covering of sin, but he went to that cross and he shed his blood once and for all for freedom. In Psalms 119.45, it says, and I will walk it at liberty for I seek your pre precepts. James 1, 25 says, but he who looks into the perfect law of liberty continue and continues in it is not forgetful hear, hearer, but a doer of the work. This one will be blessed in what he does. And then again, go to John 8, 31 and 32. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The Word of God will bring us the knowledge of liberty and freedom that comes through our acceptance of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of God outlines a pathway from sin and, de and degradation. Just like our con the Word of God is our constitution with God. We have a constitution that tells us how we can stay free right this is our this is it right here with God this tells us how to stay free with God and worship God God has given us the spirit of God the Holy Spirit to help us in 2 Corinthians three seventeen, it says now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty hallelujah you know we can trust God and know as we follow him, he will lead us to victory and liberty. You only stay bound if you don't know Jesus Christ. Some say, well, I'm free. No, you're not. Until you know Jesus Christ, you don't know real freedom. Thank God when you know Jesus Christ, there becomes, now you become really free. Maybe you were free in the natural, but until you become free in the spiritual, you are not free. Thank God for freedom. You know, I believe that if we will continue to serve God and believe God and pray for ourselves and for our nation, I believe that we will come out on the other side victorious no matter what people are saying or what people are doing if we people of God will rise up and pray, God will inter, in, in, intervene. You know, it's time that we really believe what we say we believe. We believe that when we pray that he hears us and he'll do something about it. So let's pray for our nation and believe that he'll do something about it. Amen. Let us remember as people of faith 
that our primary mission is not to have a political ide ideology. It is to change the world so that every man, woman, boy, and girl can experience true freedom. You know, we need to realize when we're celebrating over the 4th of July weekends yes. and over the any time on the 4th of July, we need to realize that Yes, it's a time of festivity, it's a time to enjoy family, but it's also a time to enjoy and to celebrate our freedom. That's right. Our freedom of religion, our freedom of everything that we have. I, you know, we travel to some of the other nations of the world and there's not another nation in the world that has the freedoms and the liberties that we have. Absolutely. And I thank God for it and you know, it's because people are willing to serve in the military. Mm -hmm. I served for three years myself. And I, they say I bleed red, white, and blue, and I do. do. I, believe, I believe in this nation. I believe in, in, in honoring those who have, who have served and those who have given the ultimate sacrifice yes. so that we can have freedom to, to live and live for God and enjoy life. And it, it, we need to never forget that we need to continually pray for our nation. Pray that God will raise up those that will be a voice yes. for Him in, the, in this world. And talking about praying, honey, because prayer does change things. Oh, yes. You know, there are things that need to be changed right. uh, in our nation. So our offer is a wonderful offer. The First of all, a prayer shaping the world around you. This is three CDs, one by your dad yeah. on prayer, one by me right. on prayer, and one by our son Craig uh, yes. on prayer. And then I love this CD by you. It's time for the rain, talking yeah. about it is time for for revival here in, the in this nation and as well as around the world. And then I actually talk about praying here. It's, it, I say it's time for Christians to wake up and stand up and pray. Yes. So actually it, it's praying for the latter rain, the power of God, the That's anointing. Right. And one more CD by our daughter, Denise uh, Hagen Burns. It's called Holy Spirit, the Ultimate Best Friend. Yes. And you know, we need to learn how to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Because sometimes yes. he's trying to talk to us and we're not recognizing his voice. So, yeah, and so there's five CDs. That's right. And, and there are, you can get all of those for a gift of $25 or more. That's right. That's a so big go, CD. So go right now to your computer or go to the phone and, and order it right now and they'll ship it out. That's right. Well, coming up, honey, Tuesday, July the 13th. Do you know right. what's coming up then? Yes, it's going to be a Christmas in July sale. Cyber sale. My goodness. I can't even think about thinking about Christmas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but well, I don't know. Somebody started this Christmas in July business and so we we it, it's it's all it's only on the internet. And uh, you can't call here and get it or anything. You got to go through the internet. And it's 50% uh, off of all of our FLP products. And Faith Library products, that's, yes. Uh, that's our books, our DVDs, our CDs, our MP3s. Now, this does exclude the Kenneth E. Hagen Legacy Bible yes. and any special offers. That's right. So, uh, but any of the other products, and you can go to rhema.org slash store, store. That's and, right. and, and, and get, find that out. Now that starts at 1201, July the 13th, Tuesday, and ends at 11.59 p.m. on that same day. That's right. Well, coming up quickly. Yes. Camp meeting. Camp meeting. 2021. Three weeks away. Can you believe that? Three weeks this away. This summer my, has my goodness. just gone so yes. fast. Starts on Sunday, 6 p.m. Right. And then Monday through Friday services, three services a day, 10 a.m., 2.30 p.m., and 7.30 p.m. And also there will be the youth will have their summer blitz. Yes. 
this is a big time for youth to come together and a tremendous move of God. Yes. Many youth groups use this as their youth camp That's because right. they they can come, they can stay in in the hotel and and uh, one of the hotels where they ha have breakfast. Yes. You know, and then uh, Byron has a really good deal at noon for That's food right. at noon and and also in the evening if you need if you want it. Mm -hmm. And then there are children's services yes. at the 10 a.m. and the 7:30 yes. p.m. Now at the, at the 2:30 p.m. The, the the children they let them rest. That's right. So uh, but the the you it's 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 a great time. It Camp meeting time 2021. Go to Rama org slash cm get all the information and it's it's a family event it's for everybody that's right and in august we'll be traveling again and living faith crusades yes uh, august 15th through the 17th that's a sunday through a tuesday, tuesday. new life christian church and world outreach uh, that is in warsaw indiana. indiana pastors john and deborah low that's right and we're looking forward to that then we're going to drop down to virginia illinois it's, it's right there by Beardstown. Uh, I think the two are right together. Yes. And uh, that's August 18th through the 20th, Wednesday through Friday at Life Family Church with yes. Pastors Brandon and, and Pamela, Pamela Thompson. Thompson. That's right. Uh, they're special to us as they they travel with us on the road and and uh, and and so yes. we're we're and so And you were kind of responsible for getting yeah, them so, together. I was kind of <laughs> responsible for getting them together and yes. and we're so glad to be able to go there. Yes. So if you just go online to to rama.org and you can find out all the Everything. information yes. about us, okay? And Rama Bible Training College. Oh, yeah, for yes. the fall 2021. That's right. We are enrolling now. Yes. And so I, we would encourage you to, to come and check out the campus. In fact, you can come during camp meeting yeah, and, and check, check out, out the that, campus. And they, yes. they have specials going on during camp meeting. That's right. But you can apply online right now. Go to yes. rbtc.org and right. all the information is there. That's right. Well, we want to thank all of you for helping us to bring hope, hope help, help, and, and healing, healing to, to the, the world. world. A lot of times, folks are just praying in the dark, even in the realm of praying in the Spirit and praying with tongues. They're praying in the dark. To really intercede in tongues, you've got to have the Holy Ghost in it. I believe that when he says, if any two of you shall agree on earth, it shall be done. Prayer changes things. Prayer changes situations. Prayer, shaping the world around you. Three powerful CDs. And the CD, it's time for the rain. God is ready for us to pray for the rain. Plus the CD, Holy Spirit, the ultimate best friend. Maybe you need to get to know the Holy Spirit a little bit more because he's on the inside of you. All five CDs can be yours today for a gift of only $25 or more. Just call toll-free 888-PRAISE-8 or log on to rhema.org to order. For Canadian orders, go to rhemacanada.org. Do it today. Thank you for watching Rama Praise with Kenneth and Lynette Hagan. Kenneth, Lynette, and Rama Bible Training College are committed to reaching the entire world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and training laborers for the end time harvest. If you have prayer requests or would like more information about Rama, please call, write, or visit rama.org. Thank you for being with us today and for your faithful support. And remember, there is hope help and healing for a hurting world.